Cord to Cloud. We're recording. We're recording? We're recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 27 of the Best Day Ever Crafting Podcast. This is a podcast about our crafting journey and celebrating with you all the reasons why crafting makes for the best day ever. My name is Trisha, and I can be found on Instagram and Ravelry as Tie-Dye Diva. And my name is Arthella, and I'm also known as Arisnitz on Ravelry and Instagram. Yeah. Hi. So we're back. We're back for in a week. This is like record breaking, <laughs> <laughs> which is good. We, we, we did it. So um, hope you all are doing well. You're safe and, um, and well, you and your families. Um, we're doing relatively well in these parts. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we're just, we're sheltering in place and staying at home and trying to stay healthy and positive and um, crafting our way through it all. Yes. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so before we get into the making, um, we do have, a, a, I guess, a big administrative announcement, and that is that we're about to start our um, make-along. And Athela, you want to tell us what you called it, which is I thought was genius? Okay, so we're calling it the Confidence and Hope Make-Along, and that term is coined from um, Elizabeth Zimmerman, who is the Let's see, queen of knitting, per se. Mother, mother, mother of, knitting. of knitting. Yeah. Where she says, uh, knit on with confidence and hope through all crisis. Mm -hmm. So I just changed the knit to make. So we're going to make on with confidence and hope through all crisis. Right. right. Um, and. Yeah. Um, so this and it's this is it, it starts on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Starts on Sunday officially, um, and we're going to be making along until this crisis ends. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is a anything goes make along. So uh, uh, knitting, of course, knitting, crochet, um, spinning, weaving. weaving, sewing, baking, cooking, gardening, macrame, making. All the making. All the making. All the making. Um, art, watercolor. You said you wanted yeah. to get into some watercoloring. Painting. So you get the point. Whatever your heart, Little heart uh, desires design. you to do for this make-along, anything goes. And, um, and, and that just helps to keep down on the stress. I think we're all are under enough stress as it is, you know, dealing with life. So we want this to be fun and all inclusive and um, we're looking forward to it. So I've already opened up a thread in the Ravelry group, um, just a general chatter thread. That will be the only thread. So just chat away, let us know your thoughts. Um, some of you um, left comments on Instagram about um, ideas for the knit along. So whatever your idea was, it was a great idea and just go with it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just go with it. I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I think my goal is going to be working my way towards a handmade wardrobe. And I say that because I, I have to admit, I got a little bit discouraged when I came into my craft room a couple of days ago. And I was looking at all this beautiful fabric and I'm like, man, I have all this fabric and nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> But I said, you know what, this, this, this will pass. At some point, it will pass. And um, even if it means I just dress up looking really good in my handmaids, going to take out the trash or going to the grocery store. <laughs> or with all this virtual meetup, mm -hmm. you can dress up for your meetup. Exactly. I did that the, uh, the other evening. Denise, uh -huh. they were on hand knits. Yes. She had a virtual party. Um, nice. Was it, what's today? Friday? Mm hmm So I believe that was Wednesday evening. Okay, it cool. Was, you know, West Coast time. So I was able to catch it and actually create a CC. Oh, she, nice. She ear burned me and said, hey, you're going to be on there. So I, I went up and spruced up and 
put on my wave of change and my dress Ooh, number nice, one and I put nice. on makeup. So yeah, we're not going out, but hey, dress up for your meetups. This is true. And okay. dress up just because, you know, I really, I haven't been putting on a lot, a lot of makeup. I'm working at home and nobody's here to see me, but do it for you. You do feel better when you put on, when you, when you get yourself together, you know, and that's, that's perfectly okay. So I got out of that funk really, really quickly. I'm happy to say, and I'm looking forward to cutting into some of this beautiful fabric, even if it means I'll be wearing it around the house for a few months. And that's perfectly good. It's good. I wore yesterday, I had on a dress number one. Mm -hmm. And I had on um, a Felix pullover. Okay. I had on some hand knit socks. Nice. I was in the basement, so um, it was chilly down there. I had mm -hmm. on a hat I had okay. just finished. And okay. it was awesome. Nice. I mean, I was, you know, talking to friends, text and on the phone and my friend Tracy even said, send me a picture of your outfit. So right. I had a whole, she was like, you are head to toe. I said, yeah, this is me made. It's me right. head to toe. And it, it, it just felt good. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yesterday I walked around. Your makes. Yeah, yesterday I walked around all day with a handmade hat on <laughs> because it was chilly. It was really chilly and it just felt good to have it on. It was, it's a whip from probably about four years ago. And it just, it was comforting, just comforting to have that warm wool wrapped around me. You know, when a hot flash came on, I whipped it off. And then when I got cold again, I put it back on. <laughs> and it pretty much stayed on until I went to bed. So um, I'm going to do that. Start putting out my shawls when I'm sitting and I'm knitting and it's a little chilly. Um, putting all these beautiful things to good use. My husband just walked in. So if you hear some loud talking, that's him. <laughs> hey, Ray. I don't think he can, even though I sent him a text message and said, we're going to be podcasting when you get home. <laughs> Should have been more specific. Anyway, so yes, we're totally looking forward to the make along and seeing what everybody is doing. Um, yes. And of course, there will be prizes. Yeah, we're, we're diving yeah. Mm -hmm. So you say we're going to try to do a weekly prize? Yeah, let's do a weekly. We'll just do a weekly um, random draw for a prize. Okay. So okay. Um, if you care to, you know, be entered into the drawing for that, just post a, uh, a picture of your progress or what are you making? If you bake some bread, send us some Post a pic of your bread. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Absolutely. I'm going to make some ghee. bread this weekend. Do you use ghee? Do you make ghee? I haven't made it. I I have some I bought from Trader Joe's. You have? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be making some ghee. Nice. Okay. I, what are you going to do with bread it? Maker. Some bread would be really good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, post a, post a picture if you want to mm -hmm. be entered into the drawing for the weekly. Definitely. Yep. The weekly, uh prize right so you know and say if you you know you can just if you don't if you want just a, a random prize or you want something you know specific because we're including all the crafts and mm -hmm. um so if you're weaving or not weaving but i'm spinning and you want some fiber then we'll probably yeah. send you some fiber yeah, so we'll try to tailor it to whatever whatever make whatever particular make you're you're doing. Maybe kind of tricky with cooking, but um, I might have. I'm, I'm a former Pampered Chef consultant, so I might have some. Oh my gosh! Some Pampered Chef sitting around here. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're looking forward to it. So let everybody know there is a hashtag. Even though we won't be drawing prizes from Instagram, there is a hashtag, and it is. B hashtag B D E C P C H M A L. So basically, best day ever crafting podcast, confidence and hope make along. Make along. Confidence. And sure, hope you guys will be joining us. And in <laughs> honor of that, Arthella and I made ourselves t shirts. So yeah. let's, let's show our t shirts. Woo. This is actually not a tea. This is the shirt I put on to work in today. And I just said, let me go. So you decided to embellish that one, huh? I just embellished it. Um, it's just as basic tea. I think I got it from Nordstrom Rack for a steal. It's got some lace um, 
a lace panel on the shoulder, which I, so I've always liked this t-shirt, but otherwise it's kind of plain, but there's well, my- That is so cute. Hashtag, and do you see the two butterflies kind of like- I see the two butterflies. Yes. Where did you find the butterfly? Okay, so tell us how you okay. embellished it, and then so, I'll show mine. Um, this is my first time doing iron on with the Cricut Maker. I have the Cricut um, Explorer Air 2. It's open, so I can't see what. <laughs> the Cricut Explorer Air 2. So um, at first I tried to do the gold foil iron on because I, I did want something sparkly. Right. And I just could not figure out how to get that thing to work. So I got to do some Why more not? research on that. I don't know. I'm sure it was user error. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So then I switched to the everyday iron on, which is this right here. So it's just the basic everyday iron on. Um, I just I use the lipstick font. That's the name. That's the name of the font in Cricut um, Maker. Cricut, I think it's Cricut Design Space is what you call it. Yes. Um, and I ungroup my letters so that I could, you know, put them close together so that they would be touching each other so that I, I think it's easier when they're touching because it comes off as one thing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, okay, go ahead. Which really, now that I'm thinking about it, that really doesn't make a difference because you're weeding. Exactly. You're leaving the iron on, on the, the sheet. The right, right. Sheet. You're not taking the actual image off of the sheet, oh, which is what I was trying to do. <laughs> is that what you were doing when yes. I was when I talked to you? Yes, I said this is not going to work. What am I doing wrong? And I'm, I'm notorious for not following instructions. So anyway, once I fella saved me and I figured out what I was supposed to do, it was pretty straightforward from there. I don't have um, the Cricut um, iron, the Cricut Easy Press. I just use my regular iron. Yeah. Um, it took a while for it to adhere, but I remember watching a video that said if you don't have the Cricut Easy Press, to just put a little bit of extra pressure on your iron. So mm -hmm. That's what I did. I stood up you and I just put some off. extra pressure on, let it stay on for a minute, and that did the trick. And then you let it cool completely down. You walk away from it. I actually didn't because I was watching a video that said to try to pull it off when it's a little warm. Oh, gee. No, I, I, I let mine set. You let it set. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I may peak up, peel, you know, like, but I do. Once you I'm, let it set. Okay. Yeah. So, but other than that, for considering this is my very first um, project, I'm, I'm really pleased. Oh, my gosh. It is so awesome. I'm really, really. Now I just want to iron on all the all things. All the things. All the things. Those and butterflies I just, so are cute now. too. Let me see the butterfly. Okay, so the butterflies, I just bought those in. Those were in Design Space. There's a free image in Design Space. For butterflies. For butterflies. So I just did a separate um, layer for that. But then I, um, I, I, I grouped them all together so they were cut out on the same piece of... Um, so you're layering. Kind of, I'm layering. I have not. But then I grouped, I grouped that all together. Even though they were separate layers at one point, I grouped them all together so they were cut out together. However, I underestimated how much um, of the material I needed. And that's why they're kind of like hanging off the side. <laughs> I oh. didn't. Yeah. But I, I like that. It's cute. It is cute. So, um, Yeah. So I can add some butterflies to mine. So some of course I'm playing Jane with my t-shirt. But just sparkly. Yes, I have mine is like a um a gold, um, like a rosy gold sparkle. And mm -hmm. I just did the hashtag. And it's kind of small. Um, but I can go back. I'm gonna find mm -hmm. the butterfly. I'm gonna add the butterfly to it. Make sure you and get them side by side. Because the butterflies are you and I. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, <laughs> we're butterflies. And um, so, yeah, I'll go back and em embellish it. I can add to it, you know, mm -hmm. just cover, you know, use that, the um, paper that it came off of, yeah. cover that, and then um, add to it. Yeah. And this is one of my t-shirts I told you about I got from uh, Michael's. Right. The Bella and Canvas tea. It's really comfortable and it's long. 
What's the name of it again? Because I'm going to Bella Plus Canvas T-shirts. Bella Plus Canvas. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have them in almost every color. Really? That's a nice color. Yeah, I had, um, yeah, so I have plenty of canvas. I'm going to just do it up yeah. next time. Yep, so I'm excited to do some more iron oils. I'm thinking about, you know, just plain t-shirts that I have. And I love t-shirts. I could wear a t-shirt every single day. I probably do wear a t-shirt <laughs> every single day. I may have some, you know how you get a stain or oil stain on it, it never quite comes out. I can probably cover up some some imperfections on the otherwise perfectly good shirt. So yeah, hate yeah that now that I know, that. yep, I may have to go to go online and look at some more iron on colors. So that was fun. So yeah, yeah that's, that's our fun. cricket. So yeah. we have makes, cricket yeah. makes. Yep. So that's our that's our first make for the week. Definitely. Um, all right. So should we move into finished objects? Yeah. So I was thinking about one of the prizes. Mm -hmm. could be if you all want um an iron on of the the hashtag mm -hmm. we'll we could send you one we could and do you, a few you of just those. iron it on your t-shirt exactly exactly so no so we could do like, all the weeding and everything so nothing so what's left is the actual yeah and we can roll it up and put okay. it put it in the mail that is an excellent idea that could be one of the prizes for next yeah. week that's why you're the PR person. <laughs> yeah, that's if you're interested. Great idea. Yep. So let us know. Let us know. So if so, say for example, you win the first, you know, prize for next week, and you say, yeah, I, I definitely want, um, I want that. So just let us know. Yep. We can make that happen. Yeah. Cool. I'm loving my cricket. I must. I must say. You. You. You seem well versed. <laughs> You're talking about layering. I think I've had mine for almost two years and I have not even skimmed the surface. Yeah, it's I mean, so I've, much. I've, I've used it, but not, mm -hmm. I haven't gone all in. So you asked me about the lipstick font that I used. Um, I know that font. Yeah, I I have Cricut Access. Um, I, I think I think I don't think I, I don't have the premium, but I have the I think it's nine ninety nine a month. Right. And so with that, normally that font would be four ninety nine, but with the Cricut Access, it's free. Right. So yeah, I think I've used that um, that font before. Mm -hmm. Something yeah, I, made, I like it. I like it. I think I use that. Have so you purchased for, um, Have you purchased any um, third party fonts? I have not. Nope. Okay. Nope, not yet. Are there any uh, cricket makers out there um, that have um, purchased third-party fonts? There's this company, I think it's called fonts, fontbundles.com. Mm -hmm. Have you seen them? I've never seen and that they before. Have all these different fonts. Really? And, um, graphics and everything. Okay. It seems like I have a hard time trying to figure out how to you know, download them and then get them into the, um, into the design, design space. space. Yeah. But of course, that's another YouTube mm -hmm. video or something. I just, again, I just move on. Yeah. Yeah. You'll figure it out. Will. Yeah. Um, and I matched up my lipstick with my, um, my pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> one, so, of my, one of my favorites from Morphe. So you got spruced up. I did get spruced up. Yep. <laughs> and my beverage today, I'm having a little bit of port. Port. Well, a lot. I polished off the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> a little. Yeah. And I um with some dark chocolate caramels in case oh I get a little hungry. Oh I know. I wish I could sing you. I'm gonna sing you, a, I'm gonna sing you some because you love these. Yeah, I I'll sing you a bottle. Bottles. <laughs> and I'm drinking um I'm having some uh it's called, I think I drank this last week too, Stella Black. Yes. So Stella Rosa. Stella, Stella Rosa. Rosa. And it's the black, which is a, and it is kind of sparkly. Um, Writing that down too. Cool. Okay. So now can we get into finished objects? Let's go for finished objects. Okay. Finished I don't have objects? one. You have yeah. finished objects? 
Um, I have a half a finished object. Uh, you have a hole? <laughs> yeah, I have a hole. Okay. Okay, so you, you go, go first. first. You go first. Okay. I finished the Maggie's beret. That is so pretty. So you know I'm a beanie hat wearer. Yes. But um, remember we were saying, I, you know, I asked Cheryl about her. I asked, she was wearing a hat on the virtual meetup. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, was that the, um, the Maggie's beret? Because it's a fiber space pattern. Right. And she said, yeah. And you know, she has them in every color. She says she doesn't, but I, she pretty much has that's them in every color. Hat she, pattern. Yeah, yes. that's her favorite hat pattern. And then my friend Tracy is her favorite hat pattern too. So I was talking to Tracy earlier this week and she was saying, oh, I'm going to cast on another Maggie's. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to cast one on too. So yeah, I cast on Monday. Wow. And um, I love it. It is so, so cute. Look at that. It is so cute. So what yarn did you use? Am I seeing some mohair? here? Oh, yes. You see the mo? Uh, so I use my leftover yarn from my excuse me, my wave of change, which mm -hmm. is the awesome. mobile, chunky merino in uh -huh. the pasture rose colorway. And I held that with a strand of Chelsea Lux mohair in the rose gold. Wow. Yeah. That this, is so pretty. I love Hold it. it up to the camera. Let me see if I can see some of the, the nuances of color. Wow. That Chelsea Lux Rose Gold is a beautiful color. It's pretty. It's really pale. Um, I didn't bring it up with me, but mm -hmm. yeah. I have it in DK. The the DK um wait. You do? Yeah. Rose mm -hmm. gold. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Yeah, I think I have it in fingering too. Awesome. Congrats on finishing that. How long yeah. did it take you to make it? A night. One night. One night. Wow. It's too, it's chunky. It's on right. a size, um, I think it's on a size nine. Mm -hmm. And you can make it slouchier if you want. Right. But I, I think, I, I think this is it's my perfect. first step. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. And it's not a beanie. That's my thing. It's not a beanie. Right. But it's so cute. It's, it's very, um, it's very classic and elegant. Yes, and Cheryl always looks good in hers. You know, it'll match she her better. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, your auntie would probably love one of those. Oh, Aunt Zelma would love this. Don't let her see it. I'm going to make her one. Good. I'm going to make her one. Good. Good. Make her one. You awesome. know, I may use that little sequence yarn that you gave me. Yes. Oh, she, she would love yeah, that. She's going to mm -hmm. love it. I wish I could see the look on her face. <laughs> I already have it. Yeah, it's already awesome. in the queue. Yep. Nice, nice. Okay, so my half finished object is this top. Um, this is, I've had these socks on the needles for quite some time and I was determined I was going to finish them. So this is a pattern by um, Kay Litton, also known as the Crazy Sock Lady. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's Hill Toe Do -si Do is the <laughs> name of the pattern. Um, and it's basically a chevron type um, effect by use of uh, decreases and increases. Mm -hmm. um, I think I knit this on a US one needle. Um, I started at the cuff and I did a pretty deep cuff. It's almost about two inches on the cuff. And um, I basically just continued in pattern in a tube and then came back and did an afterthought heel. That's cute. Um, which is not what the pattern calls for. She calls for a basic um, slip stitch heel. Mm -hmm. But, um, I was, I think I was somewhere where I couldn't really focus on doing a slip stitch heel. So I just kept knitting and um, went with the afterthought. The yarn is by Fiber Nymph Dye Works. And this was um, one of, from the um, club I was in, the Just Desserts Club. So the name of this color is Carrot Cake. Carrot Cake, oh. and it came with the, the mini for the um, heels and toes. But I decided to just do, do it on the um, heel. I, wasn't quite sure how this was going to work out with this color, but I like it. Yes, yeah, I nice like it a lot. Grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have you started the second sock? I have not started the second sock, but that is my goal for this week to get the other one cast on. They, they, they went pretty quick. 
um, I think I was about to hear yesterday when I picked these back up again. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I just had to watch some TV and before I knew it, it was time oh, to wow. do it. Yeah, so um, I was always a vanilla sock lady, but now I'm realizing that when you have a pattern, I think it keeps you engaged and they go a lot quicker. So I'm really excited to get sock number two cast on and have these finished up. Wow. Yeah, so yep, so that's my- Halfway there. My halfway there object, and that's hanging out in this cute little project bag by Tech Muse. Yeah. I think I picked this up at, um, oh, what's the, the event in Vienna, Virginia? Um, I can never think of the name of that, but I've had this for about five years. The fiber, no, fiber shit. Um, um, you know, I've never been to it. It's really nice. It's, oh, I wish I could think of the name of it. And I need to, um, well, nobody's doing any festivals of any sort now. So um, it'll come to me. It will come to me. Yep. So that's my only somewhat finished object. Okay. And that's for knitting. Uh-huh. Okay. You got so, anything else in crochet or knitting? Anything, anything else finished? No, no finished. That's, this is my only yarn. Okay. Bit. Okay. Let's move into whips then. What are you what are you currently working on? Any any new cast ons? So did we want to go back to finish objects for any other craft? Or um no, through? let's stick let's stick to stick with crochet and knit right craft. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, so you said whips. Yep. Okay, so I'm still chugging along on my what is this called? The throw, throw over. Throw over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Every she, time I look at this. Yeah, she's definitely, and I'm going to crop it. So wow. I'm almost near the bottom. That is so cute. Isn't and I can cute? totally see that cropped. Yes. Yes, it's going to be cropped for sure. It's so I pretty. Compared it to my soldatna. Uh -huh. so I'm almost, I'm there. So I'm yeah. getting ready to uh, start my, um, my ribbon. ribbon. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm going to knit the ribbing on the same size as the needle for the body yes. so that it yes. won't cinch in. It'll yes. just, you know, it'll be more relaxed mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. bottom. So yeah, that's that's a whip. Okay, cool. You inspired me to cast on a Maggie's hat. So I did the Maggie's beret. You did? I did, yep. Um so this is as far as I've gotten, <laughs> but this is like, this is like an hour of knitting. So yeah. I totally get what you mean by how quickly it goes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a size nine needle, but I did have a 10. And I was also concerned it was going to be a bit small because I have a larger head and my hair is really thick. So I think the size 10 needle is going to work out really good. I'm using um, Barocco Blackstone Tweed Chunky. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And this color is, does it even say? 6603. Six, six, oh, but it's basically just a um, brown, like a grayish brown color. Uh -huh. um, does it have some specks of color, right? It's got, well, it's, it's, got, it's, it's got a tweedy quality. So yeah, right. it's got some specks of color. Um, it's an interesting blend of fiber. It's wool. Super Kid Mohair and Angora Rabbit. Yeah. So it's really soft. It's really, really soft, but it's it's very um it's very substantial. It is. The, you it know, is. my first Felix was knit out of that blackstone. Was tweet. it really? Yeah, and I the had one you had on. on for the meetup last weekend. Yep, and I had so it. Up. Gotcha. I uh where I, I wore it all day yesterday. I, you know what? This I picked up at a D stash, one of our D stashes a couple of years ago. This might have came from your stash. Well, you have the chunky. I had the regular. Oh, you had the regular. Okay. I have the, the, I guess, worsted Aaron way. Okay. But I definitely got this at one of our D stashes. Did so. you? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, I have, I have four skeins of it and have been wondering, what, first I thought I was going to do a cow, but then when you were, you know, singing the praises of the Maggie hat, I said, let me cast on for 
for one you, event. You're going to love gonna it. Perfect. Yeah. I did. I washed and, you know, I washed and block. Well, I didn't block it, but I walked, you know, I did soak it. Okay. And I just, um, let it drape over a vase, you know. Oh, okay. Wide okay. Vase, yes. And it, it worked out perfect. You know, some people also, um, berets, they, um, they block them on plates. Yeah. To give it much more of a beret. Finish. Yeah, I didn't want all that. Okay. I, I, I like that. I like the way you did that. I'm not in the beret realm yet. Right. I'm, I'm not either. I'm from beanie to... Right. <laughs> I'm a baby step. Exactly. exactly. Baby step my way. Right. Right. So you have another whip? Um, I pulled out my um, Magnolia Chunky, oh, yes, Chunky yes. Magnolia cardigan. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm making good progress on it. Okay. Um, it's so wow. It's along. See, I'm into the lace portion. Yes. Right now. You have been on a roll. That is so pretty. Tell us about the yarn. So the yarn is um, Neighborhood Fiber Company Studio Chunky mm -hmm. and held with a strand of Madeline Tosh. What does she call her mohair? Um, she calls it. I don't know. She's so a mohair silk, it's called, but it's her mohair, you know, right. silk, silk mohair mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lace base. Um, and of course, the colorways escape me. It's so pretty, yeah. It's like a be lovely, it's like pumpkin. Yes, you are going to be so set come winter. You're just going to oh be stepping God. out I'm in really all the things. I can't, I can't wait for <laughs> it. I know. It's beautiful. I can't wait for it. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's my other whip. Cool. So yeah. I, um, I made quite a bit of progress on my love note. Show that real quick. Oh, wow. I was going to go because we're going to try to record every week. So. <laughs> You can only have so many things going on at one time, but I was able to um, divide for your sleeve. for the sleeves, and now I just it's just straight stocking it. Um, and I um, I only have two skeins of the mohair silk, so I'm just going to keep knitting until I run out. So if it's cropped, it's going to be cropped, and if it's not, it's not. And they, it, it will be short sleeves for sure. Oh, you're going to do short sleeves? I'm going to do short sleeves, um, short wide sleeves, because I want to be able to wear like a crisp white top under it, and I don't want it to be too tight. It'll be pretty. So, yeah. So I'm just going to keep knitting and knitting. I did think, I thought about um, fading it if I ran out of mohair. So that's an option, too. I could maybe fade into a darker color or lighter color mohair towards the end. Oh, yeah. You have... So is that all the mohair you have hanging off there? No, I, so this is what I have. This is what I have. This is all the mohair that I have. That's a lot of mohair. It's a lot of mohair. I have, I have plenty of this. That is pretty too. Yeah. Yep. So this is what? Shalimar Breathless. Okay. And which is the Merino silk and cashmere. Ooh. It's, I, I wish you could feel how soft and luscious this sweater is. I wish I could too. It feels <laughs> so good. It feels so good. And um, the lace pattern is kind of, you know, you know what lace looks like before it gets blocked. But, it's an um, ugly duckling. Yeah, I can't it wait to block it. It water up. and then it turns yeah. into a beautiful swan. Exactly. And I, oh, let me show you something else I have. So, um, Normally, this time of year, we'd be preparing for uh, an, a special event at our place of worship. So this is what I was going to wear to that event. Um, and I was going to, what I was going to make to go with it was a tall skirt. Oh my goodness. What? That was, that was the plan. 
So I was going to put some satin underneath this piece of fabric. I don't know whether you can see, but it's polka dot. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So I'm still going to make the skirt to go with it because I will be able to, you know, eventually. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I will be able to wear it. Um, so that's the plan for this. Yes, you, you make the outfit and the event will come. The event will come. Maybe Ray will take me somewhere fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm so now that I've split for the sleeves, I can just knit, knit, knit. Knit on one, yes. So that's what I'm looking forward to this week, this weekend, making some good progress on my love note. You have a lot of mohair. I think you're going to get through it. I think so too. I hope so, because I really, I really don't want to fade it. I love this color combination so much, um, and I looked in. Um, What's her first name? The Stranded by Works buyer. I don't know why I want to say Amy. That's Amy. Amy. Amy is her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not in her shop, and I didn't see a way to do a custom order. So, but I may try to reach out to her to see, just in case. You could. No harm. No, no harm. <laughs> yeah, but now I totally get the fascination with this pattern. It's so, it's, it's, it's everything. It is. It's so nice. It's so, so nice. Yeah. Don't tempt me. I know, right? <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to stick stick to it. Right, right. At least get this one off the needles. Mm -hmm. um, you have anything else in wits you're actively working on? Um, I started another. Um, <laughs> I started another wave of change. Yes, you did. Yeah with two strands of DK. Okay. I'm holding okay. two strands of DK together. Yes. Some sublime merino, oh, that's you right. know, that blend. Yeah, yeah. Um, that base, uh, that had been in my stash. That sweater quantity is sat in my stash for uh, probably close to eight years. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful base. So I'm happy. Does that have cashmere in it? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, this um, base has cashmere. Cool. So I did cast that on. And okay. it's in a, um, like, it's in a blue. It's not a baby blue. I'll show it the next, I'll show it next week. Okay. Um, but that, that, it feels good to knit with that. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the only other thing I've been actively working on that I talked about um, last time, and I said I, would, I promised I would show it, is um, my granny stripe blanket. So I'm really trying to stick to the scrappy Sunday, and um, so I think I've got at least about four more inches on this since the last time I showed it. Oh, wow. Mm hmm Yep, so here she is. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, um... I'm using fingering weight and a size, let's see, where's my crochet hook? A size E crochet hook, and I'm using a Furls Ebony crochet hook. I love this hook. This was a splurge. This was definitely a treat to me, but totally worth it. My hands always hurt when I crochet, but not when I'm using oh. the Furls. It's something about, it's just something about the way this is designed. Yep, so um yep, so come Sunday morning, I wake up, fix my cup of coffee, and plop down on the couch and just try to get get into as much of this as I can. And I do put a progress keeper so that I can keep track. Because you know, when you're working on big projects like this, sometimes you think it, you're never gonna get you're not making any progress, but right. it's on here somewhere. Yep. I love this color. That sparkly, I don't know if the sparkle is showing up. This green here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's sparkle. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah. So eventually one day I'm going to have a nice, cozy, granny stripe blanket. <laughs> yeah, I really, I want to, uh, I want to start one, but I'm still um, gaining confidence with my crochet I know how to crochet I crochet mm -hmm. in junior high I would make like the granny vest and granny I I know how to crochet it's just 
So this is what I'm just practicing on this. Okay, that's pretty. And this is the Noro Silk Garden. So it's just doing its own thing. Right, it's I have beautiful. a few games, you know, of this. So I said, but now I want to convert this to, I'm going to rip this out and start a granny square. Because I okay. think I want to do just like a granny square. Around like, and around and around. Just, yes. Yeah. And um, Jan is really anxious to help me get you know, fully up and running mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. crochet. So hopefully we can, um, I'm going to ping her and see if she wants to like FaceTime or something. Oh yeah, oh, she's, she's ready. Too. She's totally ready. Yeah. Yeah. She sent me a message yesterday. <laughs> like, I checked out the pattern. Let me know when you're ready. And I was like, well, she's trying to convert me or what? Yes. Well, if you guys do that, keep me posted. I like to sit in. Okay. I'm okay with like this project. I'm okay with the um, the ends and the edges. I've got a system going, but that that granny square thing, I always just cannot get it in my head. The granny square thing. It I've just, made yeah. them. It's just I guess it's when you join, and that's even with the flat. Is when you get to the end, mm -hmm. you have to chain a couple. But I'm just not. It's like my edge, and this pattern. I guess it's okay. It's probably me. It looks fine to me. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get you so straight. I'm enjoying it. And this goes, you know, it goes by really fast. So crochet crazy. goes by really fast and it's it so does. forgiving. So it's yes. like, if you're not sure where to put the hook, just, just put it in there and keep on going. Exactly. It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. I do like that about crochet. Yeah. yeah. But I do, I want to, um, I don't know if you were with me at Vogue Knitting Live where I met this little designer. She was wearing this cute little, um, cute little uh, uh, pullover. And uh I have the name of the pattern and everything, but I really want to try and make a top. Yeah. Is she the one who the designer of the same sweater Jan was wearing at Vogue Knitting Line? No, not her. This was not another, her. Okay. okay. Yeah. Another crochet designer. Yeah. Yeah. I um I, I you I don't know whether you remember that crochet sweater I made by Moogly Crochet. I wore it to Marlin Sheep and Wool a few years back. I do. It was remember. orange. Uh huh. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Not, it's not really fancy. It's just a really basic pullover. Um, and I don't like the yarn I use. I think I use Karen Simply Soft, which is 100% acrylic, and that thing was so hot. I felt like I was wearing a plastic suit. <laughs> you were. I were. I mean, I were. I was. <laughs> you were wearing a plastic, a plastic suit, synthetic. Yes, yeah, so I wouldn't mind making another one of those in a, you know, a, maybe a wool or um, a cotton. That would be nice. Blend, yeah. Yeah, so that, then that was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Cool. Okay, um, those are the only whips I'm actively working on, I believe. Yeah. You're making me want to cast on all the things. You should cast on all the things. I should, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Right, right. What else? What else am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, just do it. Okay, so let's move on into um, some sewing. Alrighty. Yeah. Um. You go. You want to go? Okay. Um. So I said I was um. I wanted to make some face masks. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, one day I cut the fabric. Oh, so I talked to my friend T and she has a friend that works at the Sabista hospital in La Plata, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a local hospital to me. Mm -hmm. That's in the at state the of State of Maryland. In, mm -hmm. Yeah, remember Aaron was when he was sick last year, he was in that hospital. So I was like, oh yeah, that'll that'll be some good, you know, mm -hmm. give back to um support them. So I spent one day cutting the fabrics mm -hmm. and washing them. Mm -hmm. 
and drying them. And then I got up the next day and, you know, trimmed all the sprays. Mm -hmm. And today I made a couple of masks. Okay. So this is the first one I made. So I'm following a, there are a lot of different patterns. So many different ones. Yeah, yeah. domesticity in Baltimore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's, she's doing a lot, you know, collecting um, three little birds. Katie is too. And she, they all, all the sewing shops have, you know, links to different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, patterns. But this is, this is um, just a basic one. And it, it uses elastic. Gotcha. Okay. So you, you know, cut out two pieces, you insert, you know, insert the elastic, then right sides together, you sew it around, turn it inside out, and then you create these pleats. Right. And then you top stitch all the way around. Right. So it works pretty well. This one is elastic. And... This is, you know, for personal use. Right. So if I go in the grocery store or out and about. Yeah, it looks perfect. And then I said I would, you know, make them for, you know, family and anybody, you know, that wants one. Right. The thing is, I, you know, I consider myself a slow maker. I'm, I don't knit fast. I don't slow. And I don't know, maybe I just spend way too much time <laughs> but this takes a lot yeah not, yeah did it really did it really take a while and then my friend robin she was like oh yeah I'll, you know i'll do it with you and it's like well do you even sew yeah oh, i have yeah. a sewing machine in the garage but are you yeah. able to and then by us not being able to you know it's not like i can just run over to her house and right, you know right. even if you know because we have a stay at home order right. in maryland so right. i'm not supposed to be out because i was like right. oh well, we you know we would probably be okay like know, well, yes, i was garage. thinking if there was yeah. like we had an assembly line one person cutting one you person need an assembly line yeah you we could you could I do some things yeah, because see, I have, at this point, I have everything all cut out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it took me a day, you know. Right. So I made two, just, and then the other thing is, you can't find elastic anymore. Right, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I thought, so I made this one too. And then I said, oh, this is great. I can use up my, uh, you know, my stash, you know. Right, my, right. Yeah, my, look at that little ninja. That's so cute. Yeah, that's that's cute. Little, little ninjas. Yes. Get out. That is so stinking cute. <laughs> so I'm excited about stashing down my fabric. So yeah. then um, I think I have just a few more. I maybe could make maybe four or five more of the elastic ones, um, you know, because that's all the elastic I have. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, okay, well, let me try. So I dug through my, you know, ready made bias tape. Uh huh. And of course, I needed the extra wide double fold bias tape, which right. I had just this one, okay, one package in this color. So I had cut out this fabric and that, that made looks the really one good. where you, but you have to tie it. Right. And this is a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. 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 So I was like all excited and really inspired because on um, Lawrence O'Donnell's show on, he comes on at 10 on MSNB, MSNBC mm -hmm. and he had this fourth grader on with her mom. So she lives in, I believe, New Jersey and she's from a long line of firefighters. Her mom is retired firefighter. Mm -hmm. Her father is you know, still actively a firefighter mm -hmm. or uncles, you know, just a long family of um, firefighters. So she said that she, um, her sewing teacher, I was like, sewing if in the fourth grade? Wow. I got really excited. She says her sewing teacher sent them a pattern to make the mask 
and she pulled out her little singer sewing machine. Wow. And she's making masks for her community and for okay, the firefighters, okay. you know. Okay, okay. The firehouse and all. She's making like 24 masks a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how is she doing that? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I probably could if I didn't have to work. I mean, even though I'm not going out. I'm, I still have to work at home every day. And I right. always say this. I feel like I work harder when I'm working at home than when I'm actually in the office. Everyone says that. Yeah. And I'm pooped. <laughs> so. Yeah. So it's slow yeah. going. Plus, I don't have any elastic. Right. And this, so these straps take... This is over a yard. So this is over two, this is almost like two and a quarter yards of bias tape. And you know, it only comes like three yards in a pack. Three yards to a pack, yeah. That could get pricey. That not only, pr it's pricey, but to, to even find it. Right, right. I think so, everybody's, you know, you know, coming up, you know, trying to figure out, you know. I don't know, I can put it out there. If someone has elastic, you know, you have stuff to finish it let, and you want some fabric, it's already pre-cut and ready to right. go. I could send you, a, you know, a couple of them if you, yeah. if you want. Let me and know. Those, you know, and they could also be sewn by hand if someone was really adept That's at hand sewing. So, so I saw Trudy on Instagram. She mm -hmm. started one earlier in the week. Yeah, and she, and she said right. She did say she was sewing it by hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I saw her post this morning, and she was wearing hers. And she says it took her two days. But if you're only making it for say, yourself, you yeah, know, yeah. But, but don't um, think about mass producing. <laughs> no, I was on the mass production train, but I've I've gotten off that stuff. Really? Yeah, I got off. Yeah, because it's just. I don't know. Well, I don't have enough. I don't have all the material right, right now. Right, right. Well, I'm willing to share. Look at this cute fabric. That's so cute. Are those bears? Those bears. So stinking cute. Like, oh. oh. And this one, the library um, cards. Oh, yeah. That's a I nice. I mean, I have all the fabric. And like I said, I have them all. They're already cut out. They're clean right. and everything. I washed them, dried them trim them so they just well, I, you know i would say per, just keep per persevering fabricmart.com as of monday they did have quarter inch elastic um did and i did believe, hmm? did you buy any yes how much you get i got 10 yards they were only allowing 10 yards oh and how much so was that, that it was 33 cents a yard it was very inexpensive i think that's inexpensive isn't it I didn't even think about it. 33 times. Yes, yeah, so that's like what? Probably under four did. bucks for 10 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stitch Sew Shop, they have a twill tape mm -hmm. that they were using mm -hmm. for the ties. So I ordered some of that. So okay. I prefer the elastic. I prefer the elastic too. So I'm looking forward to when it um comes in. So let me show you the one I did. Um, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Send me a tutorial for one that she had done. Um, you said Sandy? Sandy in Seattle. Um, I just, hold on. I just realized my ironing, my little miniature ironing station I put together is about to fall over. I got it. <laughs> um, so she sent me a tutorial for this particular face mask. This is the one that has the um it's kind of it's kind of curved and shaped right. to mm -hmm. to your nose um that one too so it's basically the same premise two pieces of fabric you put together turn it inside out um but so it has like a dart at the top yes no it's not a dart that's just the, the shape of the um the pattern piece so that's that's the shape of it each I wish I could put my finger on the actual pattern piece, but it's two, two pieces, one for the, um, the front and one for the lining. So the, the lining piece, I believe, is a little smaller. 
Um, and then you've got some folding you do on either side of it, which creates the channel. Right. Um, so I made these two for Armani and Adrian because they're out and about more than I am. Um, you know, they're doing all the leg work, you know, grocery store right. visits and stuff like that. So I thought it was important that they had one. Um, so I did these yesterday and I kind of feel the same way you felt. This, especially on this curve, because you know what it's like to sew a, a curve and you got to, you know, iron the curve open yeah. and... I mean, it's a face mask, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it took me longer than I thought that they would you take. You thought it was going to take. I was like, oh, I can knock this oh, out. Oh, yeah, exactly. So <coughs> I, I didn't have elastic, but um, I did have this, this um, grow grain ribbon that one of them has tied into a knot already. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so have they though, worn them yet? No, they haven't worn them yet. Um, so... I believe the top one goes around um, your ear. And then this one goes, I guess, around your neck. And you can adjust it as tight as you want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what else can I say? So yes, it took me much longer than I thought it was gonna take. So I'm gonna try your, your um, the one you did next. <coughs> you are? That's what I'm going to try next. And so this is for Armani and Adrian, my sons. And I'm going to make myself one next. So this is the one I'm going to make for myself. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this camouflage with this, <coughs> this low volume print on the back. And I'm going to try the method with the, um, just the pieces of stretching it. Just cutting a narrow tube. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it, it goes it out. on itself. Yes, yes. So that's what's going to end up in between these fabric pieces. Right, but you're you're going to make the same style or you're going to make... I'm going to make the, good, the one you made. I want, to, I want to try that one to see how long that takes to do. But you're just, you're going to use two. Yes. You're going to use two like this. Mm -hmm, mm hmm But you're gonna put the bond, you're gonna put it on the inside. On inside. the inside. Yeah. That is so for material, that's yeah. smart because plus it's stretchy. It's stretchy. So this is my this is, this this is a little is piece stretchy. I had left over from the Alabama Channing um thing. And I can get I could probably get about 12 ties out of this. So they may I'm not cut them like an inch. About an inch. And, and how is, long? This is, this is probably about 16 inches. Maybe, no, this might be more like 20 inches. And I'm going to try to cut these in half, hoping that it'll still be enough to tie. So from here, that's a plenty. You that see? still will be a plenty to tie because I'm going to have one on each side. Okay. Well, this is... I'll let you know if it doesn't work out. Yeah, well, because it stretches, you'll probably be okay. Because again, mm -hmm. this is like 40 inches long. Right. But I guess you would take out nine inches because, see, I'm going across and you're exactly. not. Exactly. And you don't, you really don't need a lot. You really don't, you know, and like I said, this, this will stretch. And the, the, the grocery ribbon does not stretch. So that's why I made these extra long. But if I can just get this to tie in a knot, so this is about half. It's going to start here. Right. That should be Red more than enough. I'm going to have another one coming on the other side. And I have a big head, so I think, I think it'll and again, work And you're touching, count, cutting one-inch strips? Like one-inch one. strips, yep. See, there's my material, because I do have some, I have... I have scraps of... Um, Absolutely. Knit Absolutely. fabric. And if, if not, I have so much... I could see, like I bought this huge, this whole tub of um, knit from Walmart. This is another one of those pre-cuts I bought. So, wow. Yeah, I have plenty if you need more. This is all, then this is the, the stretching it. That's um, awesome. Yeah, so last night, that's, that's what I did. I spent some time um, cutting out all the fabric, so I'm ready. Oh, you did? Let's see um, what you have there. Okay, so I really love this one. Not that, you know, it matters what it looks like, but, you know, if you got to wear it, why not make it cute? 
So this pretty print. Be cute. That's cute. With this little. Um, oh, you're making different fabrics for the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm I, doing is I'm just cutting. See, my top. I'm just cutting a long strip and I fold it over. Okay. You know what I mean? So now. Yes. So to sew up here, I only have to sew three, three around. Smart. That's really smart. Okay. That's a time saver. Down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you know, another thing that saved me time when I was cutting these out, I was actually using my, um, my cutting mat that twirls. And I, you know, I had my little, my little rotary cutter and my little measuring thing. And I'm like, why am I going through all these changes? So I just took one and this was basically my pattern. I just quickly cut, cut, cut around and I was able to get quite a few of these cut out. So here's right. another one. This is Ooh, that's pretty. And this is actually a piece of flannel. Oh wow! So on some of these, I'm going to use the flannel as as like a um a third layer um in between the two pieces, and I have quite a bit of flannel around here um, that I could use up. So, so there's another one. I found that um, it gets kind of warm in there. It does. Hats off to medical workers. I don't know how they do it. I don't even know how they get used I to it. I don't that. know. I love this one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Um, I got some chevrons. Oh, wow. And again, this, like you said, this is fabric that's been in my stash. Um, you know, didn't want to throw it away because, but n never in a million years that I think this was how it was going to end up being put to like my little scrap bag and it was packed it was all the way full so I've got like down halfway um so again if like Othella said if there's some makers out there you need fabric um I'd be more than happy to send some yeah let us know um I'll be starting out making some for the family and and close friends because I try not to watch the news a lot because it can get to be a bit a bit much, but I thought I might have heard that now they're recommending that we all wear masks when we go out and about. And it's not a bad idea. It's it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. No, anything. it definitely definitely wouldn't hurt. So yep, yeah, that's all that's going on in my sewing world this week. I've been focusing on you know reading patterns, mask patterns, and trying to figure out which one is going to work the best. For us good yeah yeah that's the making on that's making the on. making yeah yeah so um can we talk about acquisitions <laughs> <laughs> if you if you must if we must you have any acquisitions um maybe 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 okay. So this is going to be this is going to be a very interactive acquisition um, segment for me because I have three packages. I know what's in them, but I haven't opened them up yet. So. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, you going first, or you want me to go first? You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to share this last week because but I forgot so anyway I won't even go back mm -hmm. okay so one of our podcast viewers and I almost believe she she knit along with us on the Felix so I can't remember if I, I just found her YouTube or mm -hmm. but anyway, mm -hmm. I found her. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the whole story, but anyway, I found her. So I found her. She may have made a comment about being a, a, a dyer or something. I was oh like, yes, what? I think I saw it on YouTube. Was it on YouTube? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw oh, that. A mm -hmm. dyer. Right. I went and checked out her shop. So her name is Adriel, A D R I E L. Adriel. Okay. I hope okay. I'm saying that right. And the name of her 
yarn company is called, what's that? Wax, Wax and, and Yang. Yang. And I believe she's on Etsy. Okay. And I saw a couple of things. So this is a her smooth DK base and is what would Buffy do? Oh, that's Look so that. pretty. Ooh, is that chocolate browns in there? It's uh green, yeah. pink, green. Just just pretty. That's beautiful. That's I don't know why wax and skein is. It sounds familiar, familiar to you. Sounds familiar to me. I I kind of feel like. And look, look at how cute bit. that is. Look at these. Those are too cute. Aren't they the cutest? Yes. <laughs> little mini skeins. Yeah. So I was really excited about that, and then she, Very nice. you know, she put in a little card thanking me for my order, and then she says, "I've included a surprise for you and Trisha." No way. To keep slash give away slash whatever you want. Thanks so much to you. Best day ever, ladies, for being a bright spot in my day. Oh, how sweet. That isn't that a cutest oh, little card? Thank you. So Adrielle is her first name. Yes. And then Wonderful. on the back she says, please let me know if you need craft along prizes in the future, as I would happily donate. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Adrielle. So here are the two packages. Yours has your name on it. Ooh. Are you going to send it to me? And mine has my name on it. Oh, you're teasing me, Arthella. Not so nice. Do you want me to open yours up and show um, you? I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I want you to put it in the mail Monday. <laughs> Gosh. Well, this you is your shame. Okay. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Is it showing up pretty? Yes. It's showing up to me like a beautiful um navy. It's it's so pretty. Look, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. And is this is her twist base. It's mm -hmm. uh 100 percent superwash merino, 400 yards, and the colorway is called Valeris. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah. So that's for oh, you. I need, I need. <laughs> and then mine is Oh, is that oh, green? It's green. It's called Forest Moon. And mine is twist sock as well. Oh, that's so it's, pretty. It's not even showing up as pretty as it is. So is it like a um like a piney green or a it's like it's shades of green. It's so pretty. From what I'm seeing, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Wow. The sun is going down. So. Yeah. But see, oh, yeah, I see it. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Okay. Okay. Does it does it match that other skein you bought? It looks like it's got some the because the other skein has greens in it. So can you do yeah, that? But this one's DK. Oh, okay. This one's DK, and these are sock sock base. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, so let's open up some packages. Um, this one. So I know what this is. This came from Duck Duck Wool, and this was a part of the homespun yarn party um, shopping that we did. So duck duck wool. Wow. Yes. So I got four skeins of her DK. No, three when skeins. Did, when did you do that? When we were um when we had our Zoom virtual shopping knit along meetup. <laughs> you had checked out for a little while. Were you shopping then? Probably. Probably. So this color is Lulu. Lulu. This is Lulu. Oh, you said 
Is that the one that you already have? This is the one I already had. So let me show you my other Lulu. I'm already seeing some. No, actually, these match up pretty good, but I'm still going to have to um, alternate schemes. So I already had two Lulus. You had and now two. I have five. Wow. And what base is that? DK. Oh, wow. DK base is 100% merino and it's 250 yards. 250 yards? 250 yards. So I think you I want this to be 1250 yards. I think I want this to be my throw over. Mm -hmm. My throw over. So I pulled out my, um, my skeins of DK that I had in from, um, Oh, what? <laughs> that is gonna be so pretty. Let me see. Why can I think of the name of who? This is um. That's died in the. That's um. Don't get me to forgetting too. The same one you're using for your your throwover. It's um. Yarn hero. Yarn hero. Yes. Okay, so let me show you. So I had I had I purchased this whole kit. This this was like an odds and ends kit that I purchased from her. So I'm just gonna oh, right. I'm just gonna do a little bit of each one, I think. I think any of them will work just fine. They sure will. Oh, look at that one. That one on the bottom, that one. With this one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> look, I'm pointing like. So this is this is the bigger one. This one, I may could just do this. This, this might be you enough. Should, you should just let it go. Just let it go. Oh. <laughs> that is so pretty. Isn't it? Hold beautiful? it up together really close. Oh, yeah. That's it. My poor nails. I think I've got about four inches of new growth. <laughs> four inches. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes. So um, I'll, I'll get a throw over on the needles eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. That worked out really well. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, you know, it's kind of, kind of, it's a big investment when you're a plus size lady making, you know, for indie dot sweater quantities. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta break it up. Um, so yeah, super excited about, about that purchase. That's exciting. It is exciting. Oh, well, look at the bag she sent it in. Oh, isn't that cute? Right? Oh, that's too cute. That's cute. Okay. I'll go next. Okay. Did you see this? The Nick Girls. Not the Nick Girls. I'm sorry. Not the Nick Girls. The Grocery Nick girls? girls? They're the master enablers themselves. They had a kit. Let's start with their. Oh, yes. Isn't that cute? So it, the kit included the, um, the cooler. Yes. That, that is cute? so cute. <laughs> and this, I think I got to choose my color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Different colors. And then in, um, they did this little zipper pull, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's cute. Look at them. That's super cute. That would be really nice on a project bag. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. Oh, and I wonder then, who did that for them. That's why I want to learn Procreate, because I want to do ours like that. <laughs> well, you know, um, I can't. It's all, it's all. I know, I know. <laughs> all gone from me, so I won't even go there. And then this is a new to me dyer. So this is all part of the kit. Yeah, this is the yarn. That is so pretty. So is this the dyer that they're, that's selling yarn in their shop? In the grocery girl shop, or is this a no, whole this another? This is a different one. This is a whole another. I okay, I should have shown that too. But this is that this is dyer. gorgeous. It says, uh, I can't even pronounce it. 
special fourth anniversary edition sock set. But this dyer, I'll send you the link. Okay. Because you can't really see it there, can you? Hold it up a bit more. Uh, over to the right a little bit more and then down. All right, you're right. A special fourth anniversary. Come down some more. Oh, I see. Hold on. Go back where it was. Yeah. It says um, green Grin yeah, I can't pronounce it. Okay. But anyway, we'll put it in the... You have to go back to her, to the episode where they talk but about look it. look at this. Look at this. That is so pretty. Am I seeing greens and purples? You're seeing fuchsia, dusty pink. Wow. Teal. It looks like it's on like a gray, pale gray base. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Those speckles are giving me all kinds of life. Yeah, so you know, did you see the, um, is it called Spring Fling? And Spas Tree Co. did this um, shawlette? Yes. Did you see that? Yes. It takes a skein of sock and a mini for the I-cord. Right. That would be so nice. Awesome. Spring I Fling is the name of it. Pardon me? Spring Fling is the name of the pattern. Oh, spring Fling. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So that's, that's okay. my acquisition. So here's another acquisition from Homespun Yarn Party from Needles Click, etc. Oh, it I just keeps coming. Huh? Blame Jessica for this. So um, Needles Click, um, they specialize in these. Um, I don't know. Is it polymer? I don't. They're they're like a hard plastic stitch markers. They're it's called something. Yeah, I want to say polymer clay, but I don't think that's right. It's not polymer clay. It's called um. And they bake, aren't they baked or something? Yes, it's a bake thing. Yeah. You know, Cheryl, Cheryl, chocolate yes. mom. She uses those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is it called? Maybe. You know what? Maybe it's on my receipt. No. No, it doesn't say on the it's receipt. It's called Bake Light. It's called C. Yeah. But these are from Needles Click, and um, here they go. Oh. So I chose the sheep. <laughs> They're sheep in coats. <laughs> That is too cute. They are too cute. Some of them have umbrellas, some don't. I love it. I just couldn't resist it. I think I got, I purchased something, stitch markers from them last year. Mm -hmm. I think they were um, like uh, Nordic sweaters, different Nordic uh, yeah. sweaters. I have that one too. That's actually on a, my secret test knitting project. What's the name of that company. shop again? Needles Click. Needles Click, et cetera. And these, they're pretty substantial. They probably would fit up to a size 10 needle. Right. And I, I do like the noise they make. They do make a cute little fun huh. clink, clink, clinkly noise, but not annoying. Uh huh. So yeah, I love them. I have another pair over there too. I would get up and get them, but maybe I'll show them another time. I'm going to their shop. Okay. Um, I yeah, you I know what I got from them? I got some note cards from them. Oh, just recently? From the last time? year. Last year. Okay. I didn't know she did note cards. Yeah, she does um, note cards. She does a lot of different things. Oh, my gosh. Did you see these potted cacti? I'm on her Etsy shop now. Oh, wow. I love that one. Yeah, I love, you know, I love that. Mm -hmm. All the things. Oh, how cute. So while you're looking on Needles Click, I'm going to, I just opened up another package. This package is from Black Pearl Magic. She's a maker of color and look at her cute little sticker. Oh my gosh. I want to make sure that's going to be a sticker. Yeah. 
This will probably end up in my planner. I really want to learn how to make these so desperately. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. So this is the cute little sock bag that I purchased from her. It's just, it's the perfect size. Oh, that's so cute. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Very well made. It's mm -hmm. got a canvas lining. Um, this fabric. So of course we we were talking about this when I bought it. It's got yeah. me written all over. That tie-dye is beautiful. That's pretty. I love her little Is it black or navy? Black. It's black. So her name, again, Black Pearl Magic, Shayla Jones. Shayla. Shayla Jones. We have to, when, I, when we post the um, podcast announcement, we have to tag her and thank her. This is beautiful. And she's out of Baltimore. So she's oh, a local maker. Local. A local maker. Beautiful, Shayla. Thank you so much. You cute. And I do have one more if you don't have anything else. Go for it, girl. <laughs> so the last thing that I purchased that same day, so that, that was the plan. We were going to try to support the makers who weren't able to vend at home spun yarn parties. Yeah. But then Wanda um, sent something before then as a pre, as a teaser. <laughs> Some, some pre shopping to one of her favorite shops, which is called Snuggly Monkey Crafts. And they specialize in needle work or embroidery. They might have cross stitch also. Um, so, this is what I decided to purchase. This is an embroidery kit and it's called Love Yourself. And look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And it's embroidery? It's embroidery. So the floss and everything is in there? The floss and everything. Oh, wow. That's including really the, Including the fabric, all the colors of floss, and a needle. Wow. Everything except a hoop, which I already have. So I can't wait to get into this. This is going to be so pretty. So I purchased that, and then I purchased this iron-on embroidery. So this is only the pattern. I don't think any thread comes in here, but I have plenty of em embroidery floss. Um, so the name of this pattern is called Show Up. Be true, be kind, keep going. Oh, that's pretty too. Isn't that nice? Wow. So um, I got it. <laughs> So the, the Cozy Blue is the maker of this one. And this maker is Tamar Yaani. Tamar Nahir Yaani is the maker of this particular one. And both of these came from snugglymonkey.com. Yay. Yay. Yay is right. So excited about these. Can't wait to get into those. I'm done. <laughs> I have one um, sewing pattern that I saw and purchased. Ooh. Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. Mm hmm Um, and this is, do you know I am? I have never heard of that before. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember where did I find this? You know, Instagram. I know. But it's got a nice range of sizes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. I was going to look and see if it had. Um, it probably doesn't have a finish or a color picture. But yeah, you can. Um, Use woven and knits. Fabric. Oh, okay. That's really cute. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I like that a lot. So it's a um, print pattern. It's a print pattern. What did you do about, didn't you, did you explore? Or you no, not yet. Um, I have the pattern. I, so we're talking about um, a, 
seam work. I have a seam work subscription. So the way it works, you pay monthly, I think it's like 10 bucks a month and you get credits to be able to download patterns. So we were talking about this really cute pants pattern. Let me see if I can um, pick it up. Oh, my phone just alerted me. There's a um, Sandy by the Lakeside update at seven o'clock tonight. Um, okay. <laughs> Was there something you wanted to get? She um, did a collaboration with the cozy knitter of a handbag and a um, a skein of self striping yarn with uh -huh. a mini, and it's so pretty. So pretty. It's so pretty. It's navy and peach and gold, just the perfect summer colors. This pattern looks super easy. It looks super easy. Kind of reminds so it's like a raglan. Yes, look. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Yes. It was looks so nice, and, and that, that knit fabric we purchased from. Um, look, instead of going to seambrook.com, I went to Seamless Food Delivery. But I'm big. <laughs> uh, okay, so I found the pants. If you want me to show them real quick, yeah, show them. So, you no, know, the, the thing about. Um, PDF patterns is that they're just an absolute pain to put together. So ideally, fun. you want to find a shop that's able to print them out for you. Um, so this is the pants pattern that we've fallen in love with. Stacy loves them. Shamika loves them. So we're thinking about doing a little sew along for these pants. I mean, look at that. That's just perfection. Yeah, we can make a pair doing our make along. Mm hmm. So, but did you look at the, the PDF? No. Because those, that shouldn't be too many pieces. You don't think so? It's those ones that it's like 20, 30 pieces that mm -hmm. really hit me. It yeah. may not be that bad. But well, were you yeah, going to try on um, Stitch Sew Shop? Were you going to try that? I'll, um, I'll download the pattern to see how many pieces it is, and then I'll, I'll figure it out. You'll decide? Yeah, I'll decide. But one of our local, well, not completely local. It's in Leesburg, which is a good one-hour drive for us. Um, but traffic's been great everywhere because nobody's, you know, under that stay-at-home order. So, but that would be a nice excursion to ride out to Leesburg and they'll, they do curbside pickup. Oh, Stitch Sew Shop, not Finch. Oh, right. Stitch Alexandria. Sew Shop. That's 20 minutes. My brain. I, I had Leesburg on my mind the whole oh, gee, time. Oh, yeah. I did, so that's even better. Oh, yeah. So they've, they've closed the shop, but they're still doing... Um, they're doing online, and I don't... Did you know they put a product online? So they have an online shop now. Great. Great. Yeah, but I want to try to support these stores as much as possible. I've been meaning to look on Katie's shop to see if there's something I need. Right. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cool. So that's that's a nice weekend trip. Head yeah, out to or, Old Town. You know, mm -hmm. Send them in. Maybe get a, a, a cup of gelato. I think somebody can hand me some gelato out the window. Oh my gosh. I wonder yeah, they they're open. Okay. Cause they close during what time? Um I guess they're they're back from winter. Yeah, yeah, they're not open during the winter, I don't think. But they should be open now. Yeah, I don't. I wonder. You think? I wonder. I don't know. So that's it for me for acquisitions. Um, we agree we're not going to do a beauty product this week. We're going to hold off on that till next week. You can do one if you want. Um, no, I don't have to. You don't have to. Nope. I wait. I haven't been doing much beautifying <laughs> this week. Huh? Haven't been doing much beautifying this week. <laughs> no. So, you know what we haven't talked about in a while is um, dream makes. Mm, you you're right, dream we make. haven't. Mm -hmm. I have a couple. Okay. Did you see um, Shea Crochet's latest? Um, mm -hmm. I want to make that. I love that. Um, it's called, um, let, me, let me look it up. Okay. I have my 
a folder of dream makes. Now, where is it in this room? Is that, oh, I think it's right here, as a matter of fact. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. It's a it's a cardigan, correct? It's a cardigan with some mosaic. Uh... Yes, and it's it's kind of like a baseball jacket per se. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you read it, it's it's called Homecoming Cardi. Yes, and she she was. Um, a varsity athlete through high school. Oh, I know that. Yeah, running track and field. She was a sprinter. Here it is. This, 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 um, that inspired her. Yeah, I have it up too. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. So I have some purple Ella Ray classic, a sweater quantity of it that's mm -hmm. trying to be a couple of things and okay. So, so this is the worsted, called for worsted. Yes, and it's the worsted um, fully spun. Do you have any fully spun? You do. I don't have any fully spun, and you know, I thought I'd order that Kenty that Sunday, but I didn't. You didn't order it. Well, I didn't that's order. That's the one I want, and of course, it's sold out now. Is it sold out? Is it coming back? Well, she had a link where you know, you know how they say, "Do you want to be emailed when it's back?" Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it'll be perfect with this purple. It would be. Yeah. Is it Kente? I think. Yeah, I believe it's Kente. Kente. Oh, man, how can how can I? Man. You know, she has it in different weights. I wanted it in DK. You wanted, so it may be there in DK. Let's see. Let's see here. So Fully Spun has a very interesting technique on how she creates her yarn. I believe she dyes the fiber and then she has it sent to a mill to be spun. Correct. Mm -hmm. And, and was what, there something a recent change with her that seemed like the mill is the mill is going out of business i believe um so i think she's looking for someone else that might be able to do her spinning for her. i think meantime she actually um closed down her um or discontinued her uh her kit her not kit her club Oh, Maybe that's what Dad was saying. Yep, you're right. All of the kente is gone. Well, no, there's still it's still available in stock, but that's the kente. That's what we're oohing and on over. That's like, the kente. Um, African print, that's the one I want. With all the colors in kente. Um, I don't know. I may. I may. Maybe I should just get the sock for now. Why is it not as vibrant as the DK? It's not. Look at it, how it shows in Erin. Yeah, that's so pretty. I said, I believe that's the color I said I wanted with, uh, that I wanted for um, my sweater. I hope so, she gets it back soon. hope so too. So I have a dream net. Um, I don't think I mentioned this one. Who knows when I'll be able to get to this, but I love this so much. Um, so it's, uh, it's called the Corella, Corellia. Did we talk about this before? Not on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I love That's this pretty. so much. It's so pretty. So those, that flower motif is an interesting technique. Um, Isn't it, is it like duplicate stitch? No, it's, it's a, it's, she call, it's a traditional Estonian technique mm -hmm. called Rusamine, which means rose in Estonian language. 
Okay. Um, the pattern made with this technique is called Rusitude. Um, and she has um, video tutorials to all the, all the techniques. So that's, that's really good. It looks like duplicate stitch, and um, but it's it's not. So yeah, I love love that, and I'm not sure if we ever talked about the swallowtail sweater. No, but that's pretty. Isn't it pretty? I just don't know how this would work on me with a, a fuller busted woman. I would just like the butterfly in the middle. It's the butterfly, none of the other colors. The moth, is it the swallowtail butterfly or is that considered a moth or a butterfly? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, by keeping these patterns close to my heart. So, another cool. one I would like to do is. Is called growing. Hmm. It's a cardi. It's a cardigan. Okay. And you can make it long, you know, or like short. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I really like that. Haven't seen that before. Yeah. What's the yarn weight? Um, sport weight. Hmm. I love it. And I even, um, look how someone styled it. <laughs> I thought that was cute with the little dog. Very on. nice. Yes. yes. Cute. Yes. Totally nice. Love it. <laughs> Any other dream knitting? Well, I do like this, um, too. Um, the Blanket of Calm. Mm. Did you see it? It's by Casa Pinka. No. And it's um, it's a crocheted granny square, but the style, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's it's a granny square. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Pandemic. Let's see. Blanket of calm. Okay. But I guess it's just the colorways I'm drawn, you know, the colors. Oh yeah, that's what I'm drawn to. They but all have to I be have that um adventurous wrap mini skein set from Nice and Knit. Oh yes, yes, that would be gorgeous. So if I get my granny square game going, you well, yeah, you're gonna be unstoppable. You're gonna love it. That would be awesome. It would be. Well, let's get it going then. Well, they have videos here. I'm, yeah, I am going to get it going because I okay. do. And this is a free pattern. Okay. Oh, and they, I think they even show you how to join them as you, you know, join them as you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put that on my list for this weekend. Awesome. To get up and running a bit. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Yeah. And then I have a a um a quilt that I want to start. Yes. And I already have the jelly roll for it. Okay. It's called the Jelly Rainbow Quilt. Okay. And it's the um Ruby Star Society. Um I can't remember. It's the speckled collection okay and i have the jelly roll for it it looks super wow. easy it's a free pattern and here it is oh that's gorgeous oh that's beautiful isn't it yes i'm told that looks like it would be really simple too and i i'm going to try to finish a square this weekend okay cool that's my goal okay is to you know start it Mm -hmm. it looks it seems really simple it does you cut the jelly roll and you know and then they you know the pattern tells you put certain colorways together okay and then you cut it like half square triangle it's it looks really is it is the pattern made for that particular um 
pattern uh, fabric collection? Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. So it's it's meant to be. I ha I have everything I need. Okay. So hopefully that's a perfect stay at home project. It is. Mm -hmm. And it just takes one jelly roll. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And what's the name of that again? I'm going to look that put put that on my list too. It's called the Jelly Rainbow Quilt. That's the hashtag on Instagram. But Ruby Star Society shows it on there. Okay. In their thread. Ooh, this, this sun is really getting really bright. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Jelly Rainbow Quilt. Thank you all for your kind comments on the last podcast. This is, it definitely takes some getting used to, but <clears throat> I'm just glad that we are able to connect some kind of way with all the um, inconveniences and technological challenges. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. That's what technology is for. Yeah. You know. So I was able to go to Dollar Tree before we were on lockdown to pick up those sticker books. <laughs> I think this is the one you had. I think, yeah, I do too. That's the one you had. And then they also had this one. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to challenge myself to do a whole spread using the Dollar Tree um, oh, sticker book fun. as opposed to Happy Planner all the time. Um, something else really cute. Excuse me, y'all. I'm missing my little Dollar Tree. I'll show it next time because I can't put my finger on it now. But yeah. So tell me about your artwork you have there over your Best Day Ever Crafting Podcast grid design. <laughs> the Frida Kahlo. Yeah, it's it's a Frida Kahlo. I got, believe it or not, from Home Goods. Oh wow, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it's neutral. The face isn't colored in. I think I thought it would be really nice to do some watercolor. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. I haven't tried to take it apart as good as possible, but when I saw it, I I knew it would look really nice against the red wall, and it was perfect. Cool. Yeah, it was perfect. So yes, I'm so what is my, my happy, wonderful mess of a craft room. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun in here this week. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Good. So sounds like we got a lot to keep us busy in the next week or so. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. Cool. So same place, same time next week. Yeah. So when do will this go up before Sunday? Uh yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Do yep, we there's no it? editing. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it uploads pretty quickly too. So Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just so you all know, the viewers know, we have been doing a weekly um Zoom meet up on Sundays too. Mm -hmm. This will be our third one. It'll be our third one this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you all um want to drop in, let us know and we'll send you the meeting ID mm -hmm. to check us out. It was pretty yeah. fun um, the other night with um, Denise. There yeah. were 20, at one point there were 24 participants in the room. Really? Really? Yeah, it was fun. And we all went around and talked about um, well, it was her wave of change. She was ending the wave of change knit along, which mm -hmm. I didn't even know, but I quickly, you know, uploaded oh, my good, uh, good, finished good. object okay. in the, um, in the Ravelry thread. And I also wore it, you know, wore it nice, to the, the nice. meeting or the, you know, party. She called it a party. She wanted mm -hmm, a party. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, if you all want to meet up on Sundays, so it's, what what we meet from two to five mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. So uh, yeah, drop us a. Uh, you can either direct message us on 
Instagram or send us a message uh, via Ravelry and we'll send you the meeting ID. Yes. That would be yes. fun. Yes. And we had a special, I call her a special guest, Karen of, um, what is the name of her podcast? Her it's podcast KD is Gecko Knits. KD Gecko Knits. KD Gecko Knits. Yes. So, and I love, I really like her presentation. It's different. She's got some editing skills. <laughs> She's an awesome uh, maker. Yes, yeah, awesome she maker. is. She's doing some amazing things. So that's Karen of KD Gecko Knits. Definitely check out her podcast. Check out her podcast. Yeah. yeah. So it was really nice having her on with us last week. It sure was. Um, is there anything else we were supposed to mention? I think so. think that's it for the week that's it okay okay so wishing you all again much health and happiness and um make sure you join the rivalry group and let us know what you're doing check in let us know how you're doing um how you're um any unique ways you're fine of getting getting through this crisis would be really great to hear um yeah, just check in with this. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you hit your subscribe buttons and your like buttons. I turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified when we upload a podcast. Yeah. Leave yeah. us a comment. Yeah, we love, we read every single one and we cool. just, we love it. So your support means the world. It really, really does. So yeah, we that's see the you. best part. We hear you. We, <laughs> we know you're out there and we thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again next week. Okay. Happy making. Happy making. All right. Bye-bye. See you later. In the meeting. <laughs> this is really sad. Oh, yes, no, goodness. maybe so. Okay. Ending now. Bye. Long. <laughs>